Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric, and I'm back, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. This is an old favorite game of mine, and it's been so long since I've played it. So, we're gonna jump right on in. I was gonna wait until later today, but you know what? I'm honestly too excited to do this. And what's funny is that I recently found my old uh, Minish Cap game cartridge, so that's why I'm playing it. Okay, we're gonna set the normal that to normal, but we're gonna turn. Actually, you know what? Let's keep that normal. I usually have it on bright and fast, but you know what? Let's keep it all normal. Probably should have made the text fast. Fuck. A long, long time ago. When the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. Good morning, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda! Did you sneak out of the castle and come all the way all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Eric? The whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Eric was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Eric, time to get up! Eh, yeah, let me sleep, Grandpa. <laughs> Eric, time to get up! Eh? Uh, Alright. Woohoo! You know how I do, I, I gotta front flip out of bed. What's up? <laughs> so, this is us. Hi. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything, so... Aside from roll. Try to pick stuff up. Unfortunately, we can't... Pick anything up until it's paused right there. <laughs> hey, Eric! Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you'd join her at the festival. Yeah, Eric, come on, let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making the sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. And this is the Smith Sword. All we have to do is just give it to the minister. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it. And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying. We'll be perfectly safe. Come on, Eric. Let's go check out the festival. Right. Now, anyway, if we come up here, we get 20 rupees. Isn't that Fantastic. Okay, see, now we can save. Well, we could put it in sleep mode, but I really don't know if that's a good idea. Anyway. If you use the R button, you can pick up stuff, and usually there's a rupee there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eric, over here! I like cheating. <laughs> Eric, hurry, let's go! Damn it, woman. Yeah, I'm right here. Yep, time to high roll. Okay, sorry, I didn't want to say that part. It was just seemed too short to say. Here, Eric. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's go look around. All right, there was no go in there. Fuck. Oh well. If you want to take the time to uh, 
to talk to the people, all you really need to do is basically follow Zelda. Alright, there's a story teller here. We should stop and listen to- Ooh, I wonder what's over there. ADD princess. Okay. So the Picori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that! Damn it, woman! Chill! Say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow, over there! ADD princess! This is the one that's actually the most important, so... Yeah, we have a winner! Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing? Wow! You get the wonderful You get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? A heart container? First we have this lovely shaped heart stone. Next we have, if I'm correct, 200 rupees. This magnificent gem! And finally there's... This teeny tiny shield. So which one would you like? Let me ask the jewel. Oh, but this heart stone is very cute too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable. I think I'll take it. What? Why? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heartstone? It's cute. Or, or this gem? It's pretty. Honestly, they're both too much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope. I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay. Here's your teeny tiny shield. Here. I want to give this... I want to give you a present. Doesn't the shield suit you perfectly? Yep. I have a shield. Yep. Okay, now we gotta go to the castle, which is basically north, but I'm going to set the shield as I have always had it. Alright, let's go. And until you get the shield, the two kids that are standing right that were standing there, which are now right there, will not move. Also, that stone over there, worry about that later, because that's going to be extremely important. Come on, Eric, let's head to the castle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Hey. Ow! I want to see the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a deep scrub had been hassling all the passerbys. Or the passers I don't know. Eric, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had some... Way to defend from its nuts. Pooja, what's up? Please forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival, and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything. It's a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. Poof. Gone. I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that nut hurt. Oh well, he won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. Also, remember this area, because that's a little bit important. That's important later, too. Eh. I will be sure to remind you guys if it's something important, as long as my memory may serve me. All you basically have to do is approach him. Oh, Eric, you brought the sword, did you? Then, as minister to the kingdom of Hyrule, I potho accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Eric, but I better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Since you're here, Eric, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Jeez, what a drop it. Do you know about that sword, Eric? It's called the Picori Blade, and it looks and it locks much evil away in that chest. The Picori Blade is sacred amongst the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Let the award ceremony commence! Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade! <laughs> to think things would go this well. The Vicoria Blade and the bound chest spoken in the Hylian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of its contents now. <laughs> Do not interfere with me. As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Picori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment.
who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess who holds the power of light. That mysterious power said to flow in the veins of every royal lady in your family ever since that day when it was gifted to your people. If I leave you now, you'll only cause me trouble later. That will never do. To stone with you! Didn't work! <laughs> All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now, to find out what power awaits me in this chest. <laughs> huh? Empty. There was nothing in there but those monsters? What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is out is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I could take my time searching <laughs> for it. <laughs> oh, my aching head. Oh, okay. I'd end the episode now, but it just seems to be getting too good. Oh, Eric, you're awake. Are you feeling alright? Stand at my side, the King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is as you have all heard. A man named Vadi has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sake of Pecoria Blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vadi shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Pecoria? The Pecoria? You mean those thumb-sized little imps from the fairy tales? Yes, the same. But the Pecoria are no mere legend, they most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Pecori who forged the Sacred Blade live within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. Wh what? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No, soldiers will not do. The Pecori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers can search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Eric? If Eric has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Pecori should know about how to create a new sacred sword. If it, it will be a dangerous journey, now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you, along with the broken Pecori blade. Well, this is the broken Pecori blade. Part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword, we're not losing it. Also, the smith sword. Very well, then. Send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. And they're gone. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once, he went up a shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start, and then L or R to open up the map, blah blah blah. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck, and be careful. Yes, now we have a map. Minish Woods is in the far bottom corner. I am counting on you, Eric. Only you can break Vadi's curse and free Princess Zelda. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with slicing the shit out of enemies. Now I can just sit there and just go. Excuse me, sir. How are you? Sorry. I get a little. I have a little too much fun with swinging the sword around like it's a fucking nothing. I roll a castle guard. <sighs> okay, anyway. Uh, perhaps I can move to the forest. North Hyrule Field. Now, yes, now there are monsters. So, yeah. These little red octopus things are known as Octoroks. And they're literally the, one of the basic enemies. This is Muto and the Carpenter Crew. My name's Muto. I'm head carpenter around these parts. The King of Hyrule himself has entrusted me with this project. See, the recent earthquake tore this place up pretty bad. Listen, kid, you shouldn't be playing anywhere near the construction zone. When in the fuck was there an earthquake? Or maybe it was the monsters being free that was the earthquake. Don't know. 
Oh, yes, these enemy. <laughs> also, one rupee. It's green. Don't spend it all. Yeah, they... See, it's not like Toilet Princess to where every time you get a rupee, every time you start the game back up, it will tell you that. Also, we can't... <laughs> yes, we got a heart. Life energy is slightly replenished, blah blah blah. We already knew this. Okay, basically what you want to do in order to get to that Minish Woods is basically go here to the Eastern Hills. If you are lost, merely check your map. Eastern Hills, Long Long Ranch, boom. You're basically right here at Minish Woods. Ah, you motherfucker. It will slice your face off. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh, mine. And just come to this bridge. The Minish Woods. Die! Yeah, there's a heart piece over there. We'll come back to that. You'll end up having to come back to this area much later. Also, right there is Deepwood Shrine, so... I'm basically gonna head over there. Don't touch that. I touch it just to show you people. Alright, so if we head up north, also, slime, basic enemy, takes two hits. Ah, also, you can't swim. Forgot about that. Yeah. Going up there would be, is literally pointless. Oh, wait, maybe not. Also, there's a house right there. Yeah, pointless. Uh, worry about that house later, we'll come back to that. I just want to slice the shit out of, like, everything right now. Come down this way. And, you know, you can kill the slimes if you want, honestly, they'll to be here. Remember that stump? That stump will be explained in the next episode, because I want to kind of wait. But if you come just about to right, uh, right, if I'm correct, right in front of here. Yep. Help! Help me! What? Ouch! Won't somebody stop them? Ow, ow, help! Somebody! Can't anybody hear me? Uh, I wonder who this mysterious person is. Also, come over this way, grab your piece of heart. That was, honestly, you really want that. So, I'm going to end it here so we can pick it up in the next episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. I'll see you guys in the next episode. This is Eric signing off. See you later.